We confess to God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous thought. Wherefore we pray, God, to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comforts of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
The reading is from Hebrews 13. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, 
to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. I'm not sure I've ever considered ascension when I was growing up. And so today my mind was taken back 25 years to a coach trip to Walsingham, sitting next to Penelope Rolf Sylvester, who used to live in the almshouses and used to remind me every time we sat together, I'm Cornish, you know. And whilst we were walking round Walsingham, we came across the chapel with the feet hanging from the ceiling. And yes, I laughed. I think both of us probably did. But it was only when I went away that I started to reflect on the ascension and what I saw that day. Feet marked, worn, nail-holed and bloodied. Many don't like their own feet. And here you have on the screen mine in their full glory. There's an image for the choir who can't see them. And yesterday, when I was leading collective worship, I reminded the children that we should always look up. Look up especially to the glorious roof or underside of this church, as well as at St Barnabas. But if we look up, we're also to look down, to look down at our own feet, to consider the journey those feet have made thus far. So this afternoon, after I got home from a very nice clergy breakfast, out in the pouring rain, I decided those socks had to come off. And so I considered my feet. And in doing so this afternoon, I was transported back 42 days to Monday, Thursday, to the washing of feet that we couldn't do again this year. Monday, Thursday, our own feet and the, and the ascension joined together, part of a continuum. So maybe before you go to bed tonight, before you put on those bed socks, look at your own feet and consider your journey thus far. The journey with our risen, ascended Lord.
Amen. We sing together the antiphon before the choir sings the nocturnal. Preserve us, O Lord, our way, and guard us from sin, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace.
Grant, we beseech thee, Almighty God, that I as we do believe thy only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who have ascended into the heavens. So we may also impart that mind thither and thence, and with him continually dwell, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one world, world without end. Amen. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and strive from it all the snares of the earth. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We say together. Thy turn our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from the perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We will lie down in peace and take our rest. Abide with us, O Lord. As the watchmen look for the morning. Come with the dawning of the day. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. The almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son and Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us.